Hey guys! All right, guys. So we're here today. Man, there I go again with the uh, with the guys. Yeah. The double, the double guys, the double guys. All right. Anyways, we're here to check out a band that we've never done on the channel, and we're one step closer to doing every single band from Finland because these guys we're are not. from Finland. We're not. Well, we're one band closer. We we've never done them before. We're doing them now. We're That's one true. band. Close. I, I'm not saying I didn't say we're closer to achieving our goal. No. I said we're one goal, step goal closer. Never be, uh, achieved. Well, it's a lot of steps. It, it, it's almost like the, the... You know, every time... Uh, uh, I've said this before, but every time a Finnish metal band dies, three are made. Yeah, it's almost like a virus. Yeah. You know what I mean? It just spreads. It's like... It just multiplies itself and just goes... But that's true. I mean, think about it. If a, if a band breaks up, even if two people from that band decide to start their own bands... You still have other people in the band who are going to start their own band, too. Yeah, that's true. So yeah. And they're, they're already in multiple other bands. I, I think there's like a six degrees of separation. Everybody's on somebody else's band. Yeah. You know, it, it's just it's just the way it is. Anyways, so End Oceans, a band from Finland. They have an album coming out, uh, I think it's April? Either April or May. I'm not sure if it's late April or early or May. It's either one or the other. But they have a new album coming out on Season of Mist. And this is their latest lyric video, The Dissolution of Mind and Matter. Sounds really interesting. Yeah. And they're a symphonic black metal band. Like I said, Ooh. from Finland. All right. So I think I paint the picture for you. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's check this out. Fire, fire, 
Well, I was right, kind of. I said either late April or early May. It's May 8th the album comes out. Uh, okay, so with, I, I have some things to say, but I, I you want to go first? Or? Yeah, um, I, uh, I guess I'll go first. Um, but, but before you told me they were... Um, uh, before you told me they were a symphonic black metal. I mean, that's what I think I read on, on Metal Encyclopedia, but I was having a hard time seeing where the symphonic is coming in. But, yeah, then, the, uh, but then the synthesizer came in towards yeah, yeah. the end. I was like, oh, okay. Uh, but when I saw the song, I thought it would be like a technical death metal song because this that song, the, the, the name of the song kind of throws us some being know, creation it was vibes. Not, it does, it does. You, I mean, even the name of the band kind of has a little bit of that it technical like, death metal yeah. kind of vibe to it or prog. But then after you told me, I'm like, okay... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna There's no way you went in thinking it's technical death metal. I told no you it was not. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I just wanted to say that because I forgot to say it at the start. Okay. Um, but Jesus Christ, this was freaking amazing. I mean, these guys know how to sign good bands because, I mean, that was intense. Definitely. In- I think... Very, I think, very intense. I think, I think intense one, is an understatement. It's, it, I was going to say two things. Uh, one is it's definitely an understatement. And, and the second thing is... But I mean, if you're looking for a word to describe this song, I think intense is probably the best word. I, yeah. I still think it's an understatement, but I still think it's but also the best. Other than what intense. else are you going to call it besides that? It's freaking intense from beginning all the way to the end. Now, I think I read on Metal Encyclopedia that they are a symphonic black metal band. This is my first time listening to this band. Uh, so I, I really didn't have anything to go on besides the fact that I checked Metal, metal Encyclopedia, right? Yeah. So I was like, where is this? Did I read it right? Because I checked so many bands now, I don't know. I was like, did I? Was this the right band? Yeah. So I was like, where's the symphonic element to it? And then that synthesizer, that keyboard melody towards the end of the track, uh, almost almost like psychedelic at times. It, it, I was like, oh, that I was by that point, I was not expecting that at all. Because up until that point, the song is pretty much like a black metal track all the way through. Some, some melodic elements here and there, but pretty much a, a black metal uh, track. So I was like, wow, that's interesting that they incorporated that towards the end of the song. But it kind of gave the song a, a really cool atmosphere because the song, from, from a lyric perspective, the song is really in, in space, uh, for lack of a better term, but it really feels out there. And, and that melody at the end kind of worked well with the actual content of the lyrics and how the song was. And it was a nice touch. Because the song is very aggressive, very very pungent all the way through. There's there's maybe one or two moments in the song where where the intensity kind of dies out a little bit, and, and that guitar riff, that really blackened guitar, like it's yeah. dripping in black metal. That guitar riff that comes in, it's so dark, so so raw, so, like it makes you feel uneasy almost. Yeah. I I really love that sound. So the song sometimes kind of dips, uh, the intensity dips. But when it dips, it gets like darker and grimy, and I and I like that. And then it comes back up again, and it's, and it's just like this, I, I don't know, like this train coming at you with the drums and the guitars and the yeah. vocals. Like everything is, everything is coming at you at the same speed. The guitars, the vocals, the drums, everything together. So I really like the fact that the song has these ups and downs. It kind of gives you a chance to breathe a little bit. Gets really dark, really grimy, and then it gets aggressive again, really intense. Then it goes back down again. So it has these changes. So that keyboard melody to me kind of threw in a wrench because they didn't use that up until... I don't know if you noticed. Well, you probably didn't notice, but the, the folks watching at home, there's one part when the, that melody comes in. I, I was holding onto my headphone because I could hear it, but it was kind of fainted into the background until it became more predominant. Yeah. And I was like, is that a keyboard melody? Like, what is that doing I, in this song? Gotta adjust the headphones. Yeah, it's like I had to adjust it because I was like, is, am I hearing this correctly? Because when, when it started, it was really fainted into all the aggression yeah. and intensity. And then it became became more predominant. And I was like, wow, what an interesting twist. I honestly was not expecting that at all at, at that point. If that had happened early in the song, I would have. But at that point, as the song is going along, I'm not, I'm not, I just don't picture that that's going to be in there. Yeah. But to me, it worked really well. It added a different... Uh, it added a different melody that created a different level of darkness. It just, it just, it just made the song feel so different during that portion there. I, I really liked it. Yeah. Uh, overall, I really liked the track. Did you like the track? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really well crafted, interesting, and oceans. Now I'm really excited about the album. Yeah. By the way, I already have the album. I haven't heard it yet, so I don't want people to think that. Oh, you no. Uh, no. Th- that's one of the reasons why we're checking out this video. I got the album from the label. You wanted to get a little bit of a taste. 
of it, the band before you start doing the album? Yeah, you know what? I don't mind checking a video from from a band before I do an album review, spe- especially if it's a band that I've never heard before. Because then, then okay, f- let's say I didn't like this song, then probably I wouldn't check the rest of the album. Yeah. Right? But I really dig this song. I really like this approach. So now, so now I'm kind of intrigued. To... Yeah. I'm, it gives me a reason to listen to the rest of yeah. the album. I've already had the album for about a month. But because it's not coming out until until May, I, I'm like... There's uh, not much of... Yeah, I want to wait until mid-April to check it out. There's no point on, on doing a review two months in advance, right? So I wanted to check out the video because I want to like, okay, let's check it out together and see. And then if it's something that I like, I'll I'll, I'll look into the rest of the album. If it's something I don't like, then it's like, There's okay. no point on doing the album. Exactly. Really. There's no point on wasting time, right? I'm not a big fan of doing album reviews of albums that I don't like. Yeah. Because... Unless it's a band that's... Like, okay, exactly. You have, what, to warn, you have to warn people about then. No, I was going to say, no, warn people about what the fuck. Are, are they pedophiles or something? Like, what the fuck? Do I do a PSA? Yeah. Don't listen to these guys. They're pedophiles. No, not these guys. Like, we're, we're, we're talking in generic terms. Yeah. Um, no, I, the only time I do an album review of, a, of an album that I don't like is if the band is really popular and I know that people that, are going to... That's why. And, and I know people are going to bother me, like, fester me. Like, when are you going to do an album review? When are you going to do an album review? When are you going to... So that I feel kind of almost committed that I have to do a, a review just because a lot of people are asking my opinion yeah. and I know it's a popular band so let me do it. And and if it's a and popular band... sometimes ba- it's not a, a good opinion. Yeah, but if it's a popular band I feel like they can take it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But other bands if I if I if I check out the album and I don't like it, that's why I don't I don't do a review for every album that I listen to. And sometimes people say, "Oh, you're always very positive with your, with your reviews." Yeah, because I choose the reviews of the albums that I actually like. Yeah. Some of them I if I find something to critique, I will critique it. But I always try to look at it from a more positive perspective you versus try, a negative perspective. You try perspective. finding more positives in the band than negatives. Definitely. And when I find a lot of negatives, I try to to present both sides. Okay, these are my positives. These are my negatives. And I, I don't like to skew people's opinions on the album. Yeah. It's my personal opinion. But I, if, if it's an album that or a band that I, I totally didn't like, then I'd, I'd rather not do it. Because I understand that bands put a lot of effort, a lot of work you don't into the just... records. And who am I to go and shit on, on their yeah. work? I just don't feel like... That's the right thing to do. My mother always told me, if you don't have anything good to say, don't say anything at all. I mean, you've already spoiled that because we've done a couple videos where... It's different in a video because I don't know what I'm getting myself into That's until true. we click play on That's the video. True. That's different. Plus, if the band asks us to check out their video, then you know what? You got to take the good with the bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? But an album review is different. That's you going out of your way... To listen to an album. To, to listen to an yeah. album that you don't like and then just shit on it. Like, I just... I'm not a fan of that approach. I'm not. A, there's too many people doing shitting on other people. Uh, w- the world doesn't need another guy to do that. Yeah. So I try to avoid it as much as I can, and that it has nothing to do with this because this I really dig, and now I'm really interested in checking out the album and doing a review before the album comes out. Uh, man, these Finns, man. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. I, I just gotta say that. I mean, it's 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 really incredible. It's really incredible. All right, you good? Yeah. All right, I think we cover all points on this one. And uh, interesting lyric video too. I, I, I the, the lyrics were Very really flashy. Inter- no, but the lyrics were interesting. I, I really and look at the name of the album is Cosmic World Mother. So it kind of has this out of space vibe yeah, to yeah. it. I'm really now I'm my curiosity is peaked. I, I really want to check more of these guys. All right, guys, this is it for today. But uh, come back tomorrow. We'll have more videos for you. See you guys. See ya.